Hi guys, Cyprin from FU for All, and in this part number 10 of the Parview series uh, tutorials, I'll show you how to do some cool stuff with animations and how to change the camera. For example, how you can do something like that an animation which follows the data or a camera which kind of orbits around your model. But let's start with the very basics. So let, let me discard the current state and reset the view and I'll start with a very basic model with a simple sphere so I use the quick selection uh, quick uh, control space like that and type sphere enter apply okay now I have a very simple uh, sphere model on which I can show you some uh, basic stuff so you need to have the animation view here. If you don't have it, uh, go in view and just uh, activate it. Um, now you see, uh, if you look at the basic timeline, what we've been looking in uh, in the previous videos about animation, um, you can only see basically the different time steps and the data you have here. But you have also the possibility to add some uh, properties of the sphere. So if you look if I look at my sphere I have some center radius theta angle phi resolution um, all kind of properties which basically uh, change how my, my sphere look like so what I can do let's set up the number of frame to 50 so okay what I can do is here you see at the bottom of this animation view you can choose sphere and you can choose some of those properties. So I can choose the start theta to, and then click on the plus. So I created a new track like that. Now, if I play, play that, you see that the angle, the theta angle now is animated. Uh, by the way, you have the option to loop the animation. So that's pretty cool. But I, I show you something even better than that. Um, you can actually animate several properties or you can play with the so you can play with um, this so the track so it's called keyframe so double click on the track to s to show this window animation keyframe and you see that now I have one track called ramp and another one um, which basically tells that I want to go from 0 to 360. Now I'll do I'll add a new one and ch let's change the time to 0 0.5 and wh what I can do is that this will go from 0 to um, 360 for example and here maybe this will Let's, let's try just to see what I have if I do that. So you see now the track has been divided in two. Oh, I think I need to set at zero. Let's see. Okay, so now you see my sphere uh, follows the first track first. It goes from zero to 360, and then it goes from 360 to zero again. So it's it, it loops two kind of uh, animation together and what you can do also is animate two variables so if I double click again on this animation keyframe um, let's delete the first one so it starts uh, still start at 0 0.5 so you see I have a blank here now I can add another let's, let's choose end theta double click and this will go from 0 to 0 0.5 yeah like this now let's see what I get now I, I am animating basically two kind of angles um, one after another so the start theta angle and the end theta angle so it's pretty cool Now let me show you uh, the camera. So in order to show the camera, I'll switch a model. So just reset that. And let me open 
again the scan example choose the all variables apply let's look at the plastic strain and uh, let's go to last increment and scale all that okay like this and now let's suppose that I want to let's reset let's set up the camera to this like this so the, the basic way to set the camera is those buttons here right now uh, let's say I want to animate this in various way I want to rotate around the model um, so if you go back again in this animation view you have camera and you have the orbit uh, for example the orbit I can, let's try it out if I click on plus I can define some parameters for the orbit so the center of the orbit the camera will basically follow those parameters that you enter for the orbit so let's let's try the basic parameter to see what it does and now you see that my model is like that it's rotating around which is pretty cool so if I don't want basically uh, the time step to change I suppose that I can unactivate this yeah, and now I'll be just rotating without uh, actually looking at the time steps. Now we have various options. Uh, you have orbit, you have follow a path. So you can, if you want, enter specific path for your camera, or you can follow, follow the data. So follow the data is what I was showing you at the beginning of this video. Okay, I have to reactivate this. Uh, sorry, now it's uh, yeah. I have to unactivate this, yeah, and add that. Forgot to remove the previous track, and let's reset the camera. And now you see that it's basically um, it follows the data, because if I don't have this camera move, I unactivate it. You know this one moves, but this doesn't move, right? So. That's, that's the basics, but if I activate the follow data, both will kind of move together. And okay, that's all for this video. That was a very short video to, to give you a bit more, um, let's say, more in-depth explanation about how to play with the animation and the camera. Very, very useful in a PowerPoint demonstration, you know, when you have to a bunch of uh, executive people who look at your model they don't understand what those uh, colors mean <laughs> so maybe you want to make it cool like hey the camera will go inside the model go out of the model and kind of rotate around uh, all around your building uh, in 3d or something like that well you can do it using this so um, for this aspect this feature is quite interesting so Thank you very much for uh, watching and th I hope this video was useful as always. Uh, if it was, please leave a comment, please like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.